Jessica, thank you. When Little Rock's police chief fired his gun at a shooting suspect on New Year's Eve, KRK started asking for documents and possible body cam footage. More than a month later and after the attorney general got involved, the city is releasing some records, but not everything. That's right. This all started on New Year's Eve, you may recall. Authorities say that two women were fighting on Asher Avenue. The chief on patrol, because of the holiday, saw the argument and stopped. As Chief Humphrey got out of his SUV, state police say one woman shot the other. The chief then fired his gun at the shooting suspect. His bullet missed and apparently hit a nearby car. All of it was captured on cell phone. A warning before you see some of this video. The video may be upsetting for some. KRK 4's Mitch McCoy has been pushing for the release of police documents since all of this went down. He's joining us live in studio tonight with what he's uncovered. Mitch? Yeah, Laura, Bob, hello. Good evening, everyone. The state of Arkansas provided the chief's training record very early on. We found no issues there, everything up to the state standard. But it's what we're getting and what we are not from Little Rock Police, a department often caught using the word transparency that has us asking even more questions. All units, hold your trip. 5-5, five five, I'm going to be in route code to Asher, uh, Adam 10. Code, police lingo for lights and sirens. Adam 10 is Chief Keith Humphrey. You can see officers rush to help the city's top cop after he fired his gun at a shooting suspect. To shut down east and westbound traffic on Asher. What Little Rock Police has not released is video from the scene. The department says body cam footage from the officers who responded cannot be released because of an ongoing investigation. As far as the chief's body cam, they say no public record exists. Now, 40 some days after the shooting, we don't know if Humphrey had a body cam on. LRPD telling me Wednesday they could not say because Arkansas State Police is leading the investigation. However, state police say they're only investigating whether Chief Humphrey's use of deadly force is consistent with Arkansas law, not investigating the department's procedures. Nine months ago, a man was shot when a Little Rock officer's gun went off after his hand got stuck in the suspect's car door. Five days after that shooting, this critical incident community briefing, the department released the officer's body and dash cam footage. Prosecutors say they were not consulted prior to releasing video of May's shooting, and state police did not investigate it. However, state troopers were asked to investigate the chief shooting. Uh, criminally, the state police case file could be sent to the prosecutor by the end of the week. As far as the administrative investigation, if Chief Humphrey was not wearing a body camera, it does not mean he broke any city rules. LRPD policy shows body cameras are deployed at the chief's direction. Other training records show he completed numerous classes such as de-escalation and deadly force in the month of December prior to him firing his gun. Bob.